Building a Global Sustainability Cooperative. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 214. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 214, April 30th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed the first 25% of the mind map for the reality lesson plan, as you see here. And we continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the quality and quantity lesson plan and the recreation and relaxation lesson plan. This brings us to 13 of 52 finished, which is 25% completion. Additionally, the core team continued creation of the renders for the ultimate classroom, setting up and testing this updated overview render. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued adding people and elements from the learning tools and toys research we've done to create this final external render of the complete ultimate classroom. This final render of the red room and this second generation render of the yellow room. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created one new image and added all the recently created images to the food bars and food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you see here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created 22 new pages related to the open source hubs from each of the seven villages. You can see six examples of these here. We also started creating a demo set of structures and layouts for the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial we're developing. You can see version 1.0 of these example structures here. In addition to this, and working on the EarthBag village, we updated this final open bed view of the Murphy bed inside one of the domes, and this final view of the children's dome. And we added Photoshop edits and details to this section view of the Murphy bed from last week. We also continued working on Murphy bed assembly instructions. What you see here are the new cover design and the newest instructional template for cutting pieces. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 11th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding a drain to the bottom of the structure and further updates to all the piping specifics as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 12th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was septic research and initial designs as shown here. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, and Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, 
also continued with their 16th week of work on the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus, as shown here, was further exploring ways to make emptying easier. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also continued helping develop the new search engines for our site. This week's work was round three of our suggested edits to the Straw Bale Village search engine, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 66 of Dean's work. This week, Dean finished this final render of the Southeast Living Space Looking North cutaway. And he finished this loft view from the same wing and also looking north. In addition to this, Dean started the work you see here for the northeast wing. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 39th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was test rendering the complete external perspectives and Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, helped create these AutoCAD exports of the Treehouse Village Pod 7 in 3D. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Shunani, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's focus was continuing the wind calculations for the structure. You can see version 2.0 notes for this work here. Ram Yavudi, Electrical Engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, Electrical Engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the City Center. What you see here are a couple photos from the weekly collaborative calls with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and this week's focus of writing draft one of the microgrid tutorial and initial layouts for the breaker panels. Hennen Dantes, Mechanical Engineer, continued with his 16th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was updating the elevation details and more updates to the bathrooms and kitchen. Jin Yu, Structural Engineering Designer, also completed her 10th week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring Tutorial. This week's focus was updating the calculation spreadsheets you see here. Thomsi Pulagurtha, Mechanical Engineer, also completed his second week of work helping with the City Center Basement Finite Element Analysis. This week's focus was continued analysis of the heat transfer specifics, as shown here. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, helped convert the work of Adrian gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, into the first sections of the new City Center Heating and Cooling Open Source Hub. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our volunteer collaboration application page to make it easier to understand and complete. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, Jonah Lewis, software developer, and Anil Kumar Malia, software engineer, completed their collective second week of work on the Highest Good Network. Here you can see some screenshots from our weekly collaborative call and code details as we continue to learn Ember.js as our development platform. One community is building a global sustainability cooperative. And the way that we're doing this is through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And our idea for building a global sustainability cooperative is to make everything that we're creating easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so it spreads on its own while building it on that foundation of open source and free shared resources. Our idea is that if we open source and free share everything that we're doing and we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so that, it's, that it will spread on its own, that we then can work as a global cooperative, a global collaborative, to continue to free share, open source, and evolve everything that it is that we're creating right now into thousands, hundreds of thousands of different iterations to meet the diverse needs of the human population. Now, to accomplish this, we are taking the physical foundations and we're combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability 
that we believe will provide a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. Of course, the physical foundation of sustainability are food, energy, and housing, the necessities of life, and the emotional foundations of sustainability are the foundations that we've identified as the juice that keeps us going, which is, of course, first and foremost, fulfilled living practices, but also highest good education, personal growth models, highest good economic models, set people free of debt and financial servitude, as well as true earth stewardship taking an active role in this world, this one planet that we have in our local environments, our local communities, and extending that outward to our global community, working together to create a better world for everybody. And so we are bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, that believe that this is not only possible, but that now is the time and we are the ones to create the world that we know is truly, truly available to all of us that can meet the needs of everyone and everything living here in a truly sustainable way. This is how one community is creating world change. This is our idea of building a global sustainability cooperative, and everybody is, is invited to participate. And there are lots of different ways to do that. If this sounds interesting to you, it sounds fun to you, get involved with our team, join our project, get involved with what it is that we're creating. Otherwise, just take what it is that we're using and use it in the way that works best for you. Evolve it, spin it off, create something even better. And hopefully, open source and free share your creations, your iterations, your evolutions, so that other people can benefit from them even more. As putting everything in the open domain, this is our goal. And then to help everybody, I mean, the easiest way to help us, help other people, is to share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. We are on Facebook. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Twitter. We are on Pinterest. And about 15 other social media networks, LinkedIn, of course, to make it as easy as possible for people to share and access our information, get in the hands of people that need and want it the most. And if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate everything that we're doing is attractive enough, then we see the ideas spreading through social media and becoming more mainstream and getting more people in the mainstream involved. And if we can get mainstream interest in what is it we're doing and mainstream adoption of the highest good practices and living models and adapting those living models and practices, then we can start seeing the huge socioeconomic overhaul that's necessary as the grassroots movement from the ground up starts influencing government and policy. And we can simultaneously address all the challenges that humanity is facing right now, from starvation and homelessness to war and crime, poverty and social injustice and inequality, educational standards, all of these things as a giant grass move, grassroots revolution in the way that people choose to live and look at the world. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating world change. This is how we're building a world of sustainability cooperative, sustainability cooperative right now, and everybody can participate. So if this sounds interesting to you, get involved. If you'd like the biggest way to help us right now, we're still seeking large scale funding. One community is a 100% volunteer unpaid staff. So every donation that we get, none of that goes to anybody's wages. It all goes to our operational expenses associated with our website, everything that's necessary for running a global organization like we are. But what we're really seeking right now is that large-scale funding. If we had large-scale funding right now, we could get the property off the market that we've been focusing on and working around for the last seven years. We could disclose that location. We could start doing a lot of the details and design specifics that would be related only to that location. And we can't do those until we have a site survey. It doesn't make sense to do a site survey until we own the property. So if you or somebody you know has access to the funds to help us get that property off the market, we would love to speak to you. In the meantime, we're going to continue building a global sustainability cooperative by inviting more and more people to participate, by continuing to open source and free share everything that we're doing, and continuing to focus on creating the solution model that we're creating right now that's designed to help create additional solution creating models. Building that cooperative by inviting people to participate, but also inviting people to do their own thing and just work with us as they do their own thing and we do our thing and helping to work together to create something that will allow other people to do their own thing too or to replicate what it is that we're doing and create their own teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub design to teach others how to do that too, all built on a sustainable platform. This is how one can use creating world change. This is how we're building a global sustainability cooperative. And this is how anybody and everybody will be able to participate that wants to. So yeah, this is what we're doing. Uh, if this stuff's interesting to you, like more details, more specifics, links 
to all the open source content, to see everything that it is that we're designing, visit our website, visit our written blog, and you can see years of weekly updates as we've continued to do this as an all-volunteer team. Uh, if you'd like to see an email or tell me when these updates comes out, you send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list and send you one email a week with these updates, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. And, um, of course, thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for following our progress. And uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on.